Marijuana is officially legal in the state of New Jersey. Today, with just minutes to spare before a constitutional deadline, the governor signed three bills, making good on a campaign promise and an overwhelming vote of approval by residents last November. The bills to legalize and decriminalize use of the drug had a tumultuous path to Murphy's desk, years of failed legislative attempts, which ended with a vote in both houses this morning after sharp negotiations over one sticking point penalties for underage users. The new cleanup bill addresses both underage drinking and marijuana use with a three-tier system of written warnings that notifies parents or guardians on a second offense and escalates to community-based counseling rather than fines on a third. You won't be able to buy it here just yet, though, but arrests for possession and use should start to slow. Today, the state PBA called a key part of the bill, quote, anti-police rhetoric at its worst, barring all officers who see or smell alcohol and marijuana from stopping the user or inquiring about their age. Officers otherwise could be criminally charged. But today, Murphy said the law finally breaks the status quo that enabled tens of thousands of arrests for low-level drug use by people of color. The reason I signed these bills, the reason why we've been in the fight, is for social justice, to undo the wrongs that have been existing for decades upon decades and, if not in some cases, centuries. Um, but as it relates especially to the war on drugs and the disproportionate impact that our communities of color have paid. Uh, and at long last, we've broken through. And as of today, better days are here. Um, and lives that have been nicked up or in some cases ruined will be able to correct uh, at long last.